All right, so we uh, have some existing granite countertops and we couldn't figure out what to do with the new addition. So we uh, got on Google and researched a few countertop options. Uh, found Counter Intelligence that makes epoxy countertops. Um, we had an artist come over and take a look at it and kind of brainstorm some ideas. And uh, it turned out uh, pretty, pretty awesome. You know, and actually so what you got here, it works really well with what is going on here, the decor with the cabinets and the plank wall. Um, but what was it that, that led you to, to want this style? Yeah, uh, basically, me and my wife kind of were at a, a stand point. She wanted butcher block, uh, and I didn't. Um, I wanted something more durable, something I didn't have to maintain. Um, obviously, we, we decorated this wall and, and you know wanted to kind of try and you know tie in the theme. Um, and, and this was the creation, uh, very wood like, um, mimics our wall, but also very durable, um, which was which is a big selling point, especially at two children, and uh, they're pretty destructive. And uh, that, was, that was probably the biggest draw was the durability um, and, and the customization and being able to kind of, you know, tool it however, you know, the artist and you can kind of come up with an agreement. Right, so it does have the Duragloss finish on it, so it's not shiny like, uh, like the granite is. Correct. Um, but you can still see the, the artwork underneath it. A lot of depth, a lot of detail. It doesn't show any fingerprints. Um, yeah, the durability factor is phenomenal with the Duraglass, for sure. Yep. Um, the kids have even already stood on it, and uh, when, I wasn't, when I wasn't <laughs> home, and, and, and there's no evidence left behind, so that's a good thing. Absolutely. Uh, no dirty footprints. Yep. <laughs> the, the teal, um, the teal accent lines in there. Um, is that just a favorite color? Or like, uh, yeah, it's a favorite color. It kind of, you know, it mimics a little bit of the, the color, you know, combo we had going on uh, there. Uh, but he was able to take, you know, colors from the granite, colors from the wall, and, and kind of, you know, blend, you know, all together where it didn't look out of place. So it was more of like a, a centerpiece detail, you know, and it, it really, with the, the metallic, and the two colors blended, um, it really gives it, you know, kind of the depth that we were that we were looking for. Right, it's got that 3D, like you're almost like looking into the exactly. wood. Exactly. Right. Yeah, and it, it, um, it actually, it looks, be totally, so, it looks better. I mean, it looks than, like a knot. Wood. It looks like a knot in the wood. Like yep. it's so like the fish eyes. It's, it looks so realistic. It's just crazy. Yeah. The flowing like, edges. Right. Uh, seamless design was probably a, a big, uh, big selling point. You know, some of these countertops, especially butcher block, um, trying to get uh, corners and angles. Right. You have to put pieces together, and you can see the seams. So yeah, this might not be one piece for sure. No, no, um, and it was super nice. Um, you know, they made it double thick, so it was sturdy enough to withstand having having the overhang. Yeah. And, and that's actually a new standard for us on all countertops that have an overhang. We're going double thick all the okay. way out from the, so there's never going to be any issue of, you know, the kids tap dancing on it. Right. You know, but seeing it in the shop, nowhere near as nice as seeing it in the house and the finished product yep. that you get is, like, it really just, it is well worth the trip. So, yeah, it, it definitely uh, turned out, we're, we're both very pleased, and uh, it turned out, very, very well, and so far, everybody loves it. So Mike, before you had us come out, you actually looked at some options with regards to, you've got granite already here, and this was an ad that you brought in and added the countertop to it. Um, why did you have granite put on the countertop? Yeah, so we uh, we went back to the same people, actually, that we got the granite from, um, and they do still carry the same you know color combination but they couldn't guarantee that it would that it would match a hundred percent um and, and also the the cost you know was was drastically higher than uh than expected uh between the fabrication costs and the uh you know cost of materials the fabrication cost? uh just the fabrication was going to cost about 1400 bucks 
Yeah. Um, and then the you know then you have to pick out your slab on top of that, which could go anywhere from eighteen hundred to twenty five hundred. Um, you know, and, and uh, big investment for them to to come out here and do it and not. Not even be close to the same color. And is the fabrication, is that include the installation? Or is that yep. just a... Yeah, so the fabrication was, was simply that. Fabrication and installation. Okay. Um, and then the stonework was, was separate. Uh, so if there's, there's a huge variance, you know, and it, it's not cut and dry. So, you know, they could bring a slab in. They say this is the color you, you know, you chose. And if it doesn't match, you already own it. So, uh, you know, you're, you're stuck with it. So, yeah, and so the versatility of, of this product uh, and, and a much cheaper cheaper cost was, was definitely a, a big draw to us for sure. So, for example, 10 years down the road, the kids are older off to college, your decor has changed and you're going, you know, you can come in here and refund this to your new, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, the, the shape will never. You know, I, I don't think the shape will ever get old, but if, right. if, the, if the colors and the, the style ever got old, it is nice to know that we could just, you know, hire you guys back here and, and come and, and, you know, go with a different style or a different look. Uh, and everybody's happy. You guys make money and, and, and we're, we're happy all over again. Thank you, Counterintelligence, for giving us a, uh, a quality showpiece that uh, everybody can come and enjoy and, and beat up on and we don't have to worry about uh, refinishing it or breaking it or you know anything like that. So thank you.